Just out here today, gonna set out a few crab traps. See if we can get a few crabs. Just got some mullet here for bait. Just gonna cut them in half. We've got four traps, you're allowed two per person. So just half a mullet in each trap. Just got the mullet chopped in four bits. Now just going to put a couple of slits in there. Just to let a bit of the scent out. Just like that. And then the tail piece. Just put a couple of slits in it. Help get a bit of the scent out in the water. And then you get the bag. Put your bait in this bag so the crabs can't eat it as easy holds it in there, makes them have to go in the trap to get it. And then we just, you can just tie it up, but we've got these clips here, and we just run these clips through. Just like that. And then what you do next is you put it right in the middle of your trap, On the bottom, make sure you got it on the bottom. Just whack it in the middle, just like that. And she's ready to go. Close it over. This crab trap's got four entries in it. So plenty of chance for them to get in there. And then just got 10 meters of rope with a sinker, you've got to have a 50 gram weight about a metre down from the float so your line ain't floating on the surface. So um, it doesn't get caught in boat props. And then you just put your details on your float. In New South Wales you just put your name, year of birth and your postcode. But different um, rules in different states so make sure you check your state to see what rules you've got to use and what traps you can use and how many you can use. We're allowed to use two in New South Wales. All right, gonna set out the first one. Set it in about three meters of water. We found is the best. All right, that's one out there. Alright, throw it in. Second one going down. Alright, that's two in the water. Now we'll go up a bit further and set the next ones. Alright, gonna set out my second trap. There we go, second one set out there. So now we've got three traps out. I've got my two and Shane's got one out. He's got one more to set. I'm gonna set this one up a bit further. All right, Shane's gonna set out his second trap. All right, now we've got four traps set out, two traps each. 
We're going to leave him out overnight and uh, come back and check him in the morning and see how we go. We've got them spread about, probably about 100 metres apart, each trap, because we found this area was producing most of the crabs, so we just put them in, in about 100 metres, 75 to 100 metres apart. All right, we'll come back tomorrow and check them. All right, let's see how we go in the first one. Doesn't feel real heavy. Oh. oh, first trap, four crabs and a shovel nose. Five crabs. Oh, five crabs and a shovel nose. It's not a bad start. All right, we'll get these crabs out. I'll grab that shovel nose out. Get him out. He's probably been in there getting peppered by crabs all night. Chuck him back. all right he'll swim off he's all good yeah. all right we've got the measure here you got to measure the crabs from top to bottom some states you got to measure them across ways but in New South Wales it's top to bottom yeah he's way over chuck him in the bag Yep, that's all right. First trap, five crabs. Set. All right, we're going to check the second trap. We've got five crabs in the first trap. Let's see how the second one goes. We've definitely got to have crabs in this one. Yeah, it's got crabs. Nice. How many is in that? Got another five, did we? Got another five crabs in the second trap. Good size ones too. Watch out you don't get bitten when you're trying to grab them out of your trap. They don't hurt as much as mud crabs. Is it male? Yeah. And make sure you check to see if they're male and not female. You gotta throw the females back. But all these ones are male, so it's pretty good. Nice. Alright, that's a good start. Two traps, ten crabs. This one's only got three. We had five in the other ones. But still not too bad. All right, that's 13 crabs out of three traps. All right, here's trap number four. That's our two traps each. This is Shane's last trap. See how many we got in here. Oh, it's got a few in it. Six. Six in this one. There's the last trap. It's got six crabs.
Oh, there we go there. Four traps, two traps each, and we got 18 crabs. So we're two under the limit. You allowed 10 crabs per person. So that weren't a bad little session. We chucked them out yesterday afternoon, left them overnight, came back the next morning, 18 crabs. Good feed there. All right, we're out of here. Sticky fishing fishing.